Why, hello there, everybody, and welcome to Shenanigans. How are you guys doing today? Oh, I didn't see you there. You You (laughs) didn't? Look at everybody. Hey, what a surprise. Where'd you guys come from? I'm back. How'd you guys get in my room? Seriously. (laughs) (laughs) I think you guys Yeah, this isn't like the other night, is it? Huh? All you guys showing up in my room. This isn't like the other night, is it? Oh no no no! Um, okay. uh, we well, lost the wet cream. Sorry. One thing. One thing is sure. We all have white walls. I suppose that's true. Yes, we all do have yeah. white walls. Very observant, Droopy. Very very observant. <laughs> very observant. I accuse Neil of whitewashing this show. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Almost like it's a popular wall color. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm just very selective of my cast. Oh, we had to yeah. make sure that Bastion's new house was going to have white walls before we allowed him back on. That's why he took a couple of weeks off when he moved. Yeah, he had to, pay. He had to like yeah. straight up re like mm-hmm. do the drywall and everything. Absolutely. Like he had to get some spackle up there, but I mean he couldn't afford all of it, so he had to use spam. Um, <laughs> I don't think spam works as spackle. <laughs> You're now said it. You can use it as spackle or bathroom grout. So, <laughs> so what have you guys all been up to in the last week? Anything? Any? Anybody have any interesting stories they wish to share with us from the last ah, week? I have oh, no, I only moved. I started acting school. I'm going to be in a big play. Nothing interesting, really. Wow, oh, sounds interesting. <laughs> what play are you going to be in, and what is your part in the play? It's a play about the last uh, two hours of the Titanic. Ah. About the first, about the first class. And if anybody wants to know, my character is inspired by Isidor Strauss and his wife. Which For those is, of us that aren't Titanic fanatics, uh, I, who I, are these I people? Just, are I you a musician? Suppose. Are you a, a coal no, digger? I, I, I'm... I'm um, I'm a passenger. Uh, quite, he was quite famous in the U.S. He was quite wealthy, and his his and his wife's story. They died on the Titanic, and <laughs> spoiler alert: I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's quite tragic. Are you going to shoot at Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, it's quite emotional mm. at the end. Mm. Okay. I can post a link, uh, a, wiki li- a Wikipedia link in chat for those who want to know what happened to them. The world is based on it. It's not exactly that, but okay. it's one of the bigger roles. And I mean, I'm in the first semester, like... <laughs> Right. So, so hint: your character needs to grab like the biggest door you can find on the way. <laughs> you can save the entire boat with one door. It just has to be big enough. Mm. <laughs> By the way, what are you doing? Uh, I'm making my wall not green or not. <laughs> ah. So there. Now I have a green wall. <laughs> Good enough, guys. <laughs> just want to stand out. Oh. Uh, Nick, you said you had something going on this week. What's going on, man? Uh, well, with the lack of current Neil shows going on, I wound up watching Amnesia, Outbreak, and uh, The God That Crawls. All of those shows completely. Damn, it's quite a bit of D&D. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. What about, uh, what was your favorite one? Well, Amnesia certainly gave me the strangest dreams, and it was interesting to watch uh, watch the players die as their like favorite overpowered characters died the first time in Outbreak. Yeah, they just oh. they just died inside right there. It's a good one. I liked Amnesia. It was a short. For those of you that don't know, Misplex Amnesia was a short. I think like six session story. Uh, which was super high fantasy and all sorts of like weirdness and low grittiness. That's exactly the opposite of my normal gaming style. It's somewhere on the Mis- uh, uh, Misclicks YouTube for the VODs. Yeah, I remember watching that yeah. some quite a, some time ago, I think. Yeah, well, I think it was yeah. 
a year ago? Two years ago? Some time ago. Anyway, uh, what about the rest of you guys? Anyone else have any interesting stories? Um, well, um, I... Go ahead, Max. Well, I uh, made it to uh, Legend in Hearthstone. Ooh. The new Angoro expansion. Yeah, just made it uh, to Legend today. Congratulations. Yeah, it took like uh, only like, uh, I don't know, maybe 48 hours or so. 48 Until hours of playing Hearthstone. Yeah. To get from Scrub to Legend? Well, I think I started like rank 17 and made it to Legend after uh, like 48 hours. Does the ranks go up or down? Like, ranks go down. So to, Legend to, like, is... Uh, ranks, rank goes down to like, um, it starts at... 25 and it goes all the way down to one mm -hmm. and after one you go to legend rank which is um individual ranking where you get like a new number system mm. of ranking like it ranks the individual amount of players okay so yeah. you went from 17 to one to legend yeah and where are you on the legend table how far down are you uh four thousand something in eu out of how many people uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably a lot. Hmm. Need to know where you are in the... I don't know how to find this information. Someone find out how many large Hearthstone Legend players there are so we can see if Max is in the top 5%, 10%, 50%, 90%. <laughs> we got to figure it, out his... Legend is top 0.5%. Right? Yeah, but in what portion of the legend are you? Where are you in the, the league that matters? I don't know. I just made it in today. Probably uh, probably pretty low. Pretty, pretty low in legend mm. for now. Uh, but there is still until the end of the month to get up higher in rank. Nice. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Uh, what about you, Connor? You got a story for us? Something happened today in the Navy? <laughs> so, some of these things didn't happen to me that happened to one Hopefully before. nothing <laughs> happened in the Navy. The, the North Korean based ships especially. <laughs> we, we Hopefully don't... we're not at war. Get that question. What if we were, I don't think Connor would be the one telling us. Definitely. And even maybe. if I knew, I still probably wouldn't be the one telling you. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe the better question is that anything happen with the poop watch. Uh so we actually haven't had the poop watch since about February because uh, the command had an audit like right after they started started that up. And they did not want uh, naval reactors to be down there. Be like, why are you in the bathroom? Oh, well, someone pooped on the floor, so now we're watching and making sure nobody does. Cause Is that where their that missing five hundred billion dollars went from the Pentagon? Is it all in the poop watch? <laughs> uh, no, because they didn't pass any extra to do that. Oh, so. okay, good, good. <laughs> yeah, no, it. Uh, maybe if they had like commanders or something doing that, then it definitely would have. But mm. no, nah, just like dirtbag ensigns and petty officers, no. Nah. Yeah, but uh, now nah, this week sucked. I had two tests. Um, so just like imagine every week you've got a final. Well, this week you have two finals, and you pretty much um, have to stay in the same place and uh, not do anything but study. I got to stay at work until 9:30 p.m. on Thursday. That's fun. Um, but I got a burrito the next day, and it's all good. Um, yeah, from this great place. But uh, the important thing is, is I learned that one of my friends, he had this friend on a boat, on one of the boats he served on, and uh, they went to Diego Garcia, which is a base somewhere out in one of the oceans. There's only military personnel there. It's a really boring base. So the XO and the CO are like, all right, guys, we've got three more months of deployment. If you've got beef with anyone, you've got six hours to take care of it and like right after the exo said that my friend was like yeah there were just a bunch of dudes just like biting and wrestling each other and the exo and co were there just double fisting it egging it on the whole time so they're just like that and like people are just like beating up on each other and then the next morning uh when they're heading back to the boat uh one of his friends just like passed out like, they cannot wake him up. He's still that drunk. And there's a bus coming around. It's got a whole bunch of chiefs on it. And right before the bus gets there, uh, Color starts playing. That's the national anthem. And you got to, like, stand at attention when it starts playing to salute. Uh, and they all 
like him and his other friends, they stand in a line so the Chiefs can't see their friend passed out on the bench. <laughs> and right as Colors is finishing, this guy, he's laying down. He bolts upright and is like, play ball! And the Chiefs just freaking, like, they're like, who was that? Who was that? And they, they can never figure out who it was because he just went right back to being just out cold. <laughs> yeah. And he, he didn't remember it either, so... Stuff like that that I've uh, I get to look forward to. That's uh, lovely. Potentially beating the crap out of someone or getting the beat cr- the crap beaten out of me. So can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Well then, uh, why don't we get into game? Uh, one thing, since Shet seems so interested in my beard, yes, I'm letting it grow out. Since I'm not only playing the role of the role that I mentioned. And also the role of the captain for one scene. So I have to let it grow out. <laughs> have to be a ship captain with the big beard? Mm. Mm. Not, n- not the mustache, but like... Chops. Okay. Mm. Aren't there like uh, fake beards you can wear? Yeah, that's that. That's or you could wear a real time. beard. <laughs> I even, Speaking I even... of which... I mean, I mean it's I was, easier to switch roles with if you have like a fake I mean, beard. And not... b- both roles are uh, over 60, so... Well, you could just find someone with a captainy beard, and then when he's asleep, shave it off, glue it to some sort of vacuum, and then just like slip that on, like like put it on double sided tape or something, so you can um, take it on and off real quick. And now you're on a watch list. <laughs> now, so I also I also uh, plan to dye my hair and beard for the world, so. Well, let's let's get into game then. Oh yeah. Um, it has been almost one year since the giant rabbit invasion, and rumor about town is they're going to return. The week leading up to Remembrance Day has been cold, and the whole town has been worried. Without the heat of direct sunlight, the chocolate monstrosities won't <laughs> melt, and the town might be overrun once again. Finally. On the day before Remembrance Day, Desmond dons his armor, takes up his sword once more, and sets out to defeat the great evil bunny of yesteryear and save the town. The gods welcomed his holy quest by blessing Bergshire with a rain, almost as good as sunshine for defeating chocolate monsters. Despite the assured destruction of their feared foe, the citizens of Bergshire and the patrons of shenanigans are still on edge in the storm. So you guys are all hanging around shenanigans proper today. It's raining outside and tensions are kind of high. No one's really sure if the the monsters that came around this time last year are going to return or if they're gone forever. Well, I think I'm just sitting at a table petting my two dogs and trying to teach them not to blink. All right. Well, I'm I'm here with my new character, who's not Jack or Jill. Uh, so my new character, sitting here with you guys, is uh, a little over six feet tall, closing in on six feet wide. Um, very huge, bulky um, a person with a very sort of bulbous and distorted face um wearing uh probably the most noteworthy thing is a big woven conical hat that's that's quite wide and and held on with a a ribbon and a long sleeve tunic with uh, like a special like collar that's drawn up close his arms and especially his hands are just ridiculously big His hands are just huge. And he's sitting there at the table uh, with you, um, holding a chicken and from a large sack next to him, you can hear the occasional plucking of of other chickens. (laughs) Did you specify whether you were covered in fur or not? Why would I be covered in in fur? Aren't you playing a leg guy? Humans are not covered in fur. Aren't you playing in a leg eye? Aren't they yetis? 
Aren't yeah, you I specifically Yeti? said that I was shaved. Uh, I never read your character <laughs> sheet. I just saw that you were a shaved Yeti. Yeti? Okay. Fair enough. A shaved <laughs> Yeti. <laughs> Wide. Do you do you shave yourself or do you go to like a Brazilian yes, waxer and just like I get strips? No, I, I figure my character has to spend like an hour shaving every morning. <laughs> do you shave so under the patches that are covered by your clothes and armor? Yes. That's why it takes an hour. Because I'm committed. Only an hour for your whole body. Do you shave your head? The hair on top of your head? Oh no, I've got like a long ponytail or long braided <laughs> ponytail braided in the back. How do you shave the inside of your ears? I have to pluck there. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Maybe there's like weekly appointments to the local beauty salon where they can pluck for you or something. I don't know. Okay. Oh, that just shivers up my spine. Okay, you guys are all sitting around. Your new friend, I think your name is Natch? Natch. Natch. Uh, you're all sitting around a table in shenanigans. Borsch has taken over as uh, being in charge while Desmond heads out. And of course, the whole town is talking about Desmond, the great hero, going off to slay the monster, when in reality, it's like Desmond and Lizzie together going off. But everyone talks about Desmond's greatness. Uh, and Lizzie gets absolutely no recognition for her part in the play. I just, if I know that Lizzie's gone out, I specifically talk about her. Ah, what do you say about her? That, you know, she's also going out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, everyone is talking about Desmond or maybe Lizzie, but Droopy, Droopy is going to tell Zen. And she has, in her, around her neck, has she like a small bronze medal which is clearly a copper coin just hammered f uh, flat it tells him all about how she went to the grave digger tournament which lasted two weeks and she got into third place she, she maybe would have made first or second place but she was just too cute the judge just said too cute for a gra grave digger but is she, excellent, is she explaining this in common or in cobalt no she can't speak common she understands common, but... Who she speaks old, kobold uh, at the table, aside from Droopy? Okay. <laughs> Zen does. <laughs> Zen, she knows it. I mean, Zen is basically the translator. <laughs> yep. Zen, are you yeah, translating okay. this story, or are you just listening to the story? No, no, pretty much all this is, is, like, Shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> just like <laughs> he's just barking at me, and I completely understand everything. <laughs> By the way, if yeah, you exactly. guys have your row twenty uh, Shelby avatars or pictures, uh, profile pictures of the players, I added one so you can imagine how Ruby looks with her cuteness. Uh, oh, that was you. Yeah. It's like there's a dog now. This is a very cute little child. I I wish I could understand her. Is she from a foreign land? You could say that. <laughs> she, she looks at him. Uh, yeah, what's the co cool term for Yeti? No, I wouldn't know that he's... Nope, you just think he's a big, hairy, uh, big, uh, non-hairy person. No, not even any arm hair, nothing. Just smooth shaved. Well, the only skin I've got exposed is for my, my fists and my face, anyway. Yeah, no hair on the hands or knuckles. No hair on the face. Smooth as mm -hmm. baby's, baby's bottom. I, I look at... Uh, she looks at them. Big, big Nofa doesn't know Cobalt. No. I say mm. Cobalt, no. Nobody knows Cobalt except for me, apparently. You're good. <laughs> you're good too, Droopy. You're good too. Well, actually, you're pretty evil, but you know, you're good too. That's a compliment for Droopy. He's. Yeah. She takes it as a compliment. Zen, you should get going and teach Droopy common. This is not good, you know. That we cannot understand Droopy. I know, you know, uh, any shady things that can happen in the background, you, you must know. <laughs> 
Well, the thing is, he can understand common. He just can't speak it. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> oh, I'm. I'm sorry. You're. Okay. This. Oh, your your child is, is a girl. I. I am very sorry for I. Some sometimes my eyes aren't good, and I mistake boys oh, and no, girls. Okay. But your I mean, child is, is very cute. Yeah, Zen's, uh, well, I mean, Zen's not quite the looker, but yeah, his kid is, uh, <laughs> kid came out a little weird, you know? Zen. Zen is quite the looker. <laughs> how, can, how can you say that his daughter came out a little weird? She, she is very, very cute. How could you say such a thing? Um, yeah, I know, that's like, that's, that's the weird part, is that she's so uh, dang Uh, looks at, looks at Zen. Me not child? <laughs> me also me not shady? Great I'm grave digger. I'm, me not shady. <laughs> I just say in Cobalt, oh you're super shady. <laughs> yeah that that uh that little munchkin, oh oh she sure knows how to get in trouble. Uh yes, that is definitely a a common fact of our human children. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, they're, they're freaking like, yeah, they, geez, like, the little rats get everywhere, man. Um, yeah. It's during this time that you see a flash of lightning outside that illuminates this hulking shape near the window. Uh, it's there for just a moment and then gone again. Will everyone make perception checks to see if who's looking in the direction and might get a chance to actually spot it? And I yeah. think those are your spells sure. that you guys put in. <laughs> yes. Oh, but I Droop is currently telling Zen again how she got into the tournament <laughs> placed third, and while she's telling him, she's looking at the window. <laughs> So, the kobold speakers are the only ones who <laughs> catch sight of this hulking, massive, furry shape outside. Uh, there's not much detail to it. It's just kind of illuminated by the lightning in the background. So, it's just kind of this big silhouette. Um, but you can see the fur bristling off of it all over the place. And it's so close to the window that you can't even see the whole height of the creature. Just, it's out there illuminated and silhouetted by the lightning. Uh, and then uh, as yeah, soon Zen's as the lightning's gone, say, the creature's gone. Yeah, Zen's just gonna say, well, there's something giant and furry out the window. I ain't going out there. Yeah, uh, Droopy jumps a bit and looks at them. Dina? Actually? Is there any, like, open window or door? No, it's raining outside, so all the doors and windows are shut to keep the cold out and the warmth in. Hmm. I'm going so right. to go up to the door, crack it open a tiny bit, and toss one pebble out. A light stone? Yeah. Okay. You make your way to the door okay. through the fairly crowded room. You notice there's a few other people looking cautiously in the direction of the window. Uh, uh, of the window. And as you get to the door, someone shouts from the back, No! Don't go in there! This isn't in, this is out. <laughs> and then I crack it open and throw out the pebble. Oh, I thought this was an in. It is. <laughs> it's, also, it's also an out, too. Uh, you crack the door, and as you're getting ready to toss the pebble out, in barges, the biggest, furriest rabbit you've ever seen. Gray and oh. red fur all over the place. These big, monstrous ears that kind of hang and sag with the weight of the water ah, on them. It has them. not just big buck teeth, but actual like fangs and tusks coming out of its mouth. And it gives a tremendous roar. Well, <laughs> assuming Dina! I'm on the other side of the door, you know, like it's opening like this, mm -hmm. I'm just going to go up to the wall and hide behind the door. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yep. Um, uh, Bor stumbles into the room laughing, pulling off his fake rabbit ears, and looks at all of you, pointing and rolling with laughter as he doubles over. Ah, oh, you fools! You're all afraid of a rabbit! What's wrong with you? As, as he looks uh, around, he pulls... That's a good one. 
uh, as he looks around, he probably sees Ruby uh, grabbing, uh, and, uh, I almost threw some readying, her, readying her shuffle, her, her shovel, and then in, in in anticipation of dinner, but then sees him. Then, mm. All right, Boar stumbles over behind the bar, laughing and slapping it every few steps he goes, making a mockery of everyone who was startled by the beard rabbit. Um. Then I think you still have your light stone in your hand, like you're getting ready. You opened it and got ready to toss when the, the big guy came in. So you've you've still got your stone. Right. Borsh goes behind the bar, starts serving up drinks, and you can hear the low muttering uh, murmurs of the rest of the crowd, un well, displeased by Borsh's ridiculous joke. I think it's hilarious. Okay, so we'll, I make sure to close the door then. Yeah, if the door gets closed, right. uh, it I latches safely. Ruby goes up to Zen and accepts him. Alcohol! Need a big bottle of strong alcohol. Need alcohol? Want to test spell? Okay. I bring him up to the bar and just say, he wants some alcohol. Oh, uh, what'll a little one have? I say in Cobalt, what do you want? Big bottle of strong alcohol. I say, quote, big bottle of strong alcohol. Strongest alcohol. Strongest. I gotcha. Okay. Uh, he goes behind the bar. Uh, you hear some sloshing around, and he pops up with, like, a, a pitcher and sets it on the table. But before he takes his hand off of it, he looks you dead in the eyes and says, that'll be 30 bits. Copper bits. Just a pitcher, not a bottle. Oh. I, I say in Cobalt, one three silver. Um, is this just a pitch and not not a bottle? It's a pitcher, yeah. Need bottle, bottle with strongest alcohol. That you know, I just keep translating. Borsh looks down at the little creature. <clears throat> I, I show Gives him a, a snort glucose. and looks to you, Zen, and says, "Tell him that it comes in pitchers, not in bottles. He can go bottle it up somewhere else." I, I hold up a hand in which are two gold coins. Borsh takes it and pockets it and goes uh, to serve someone else another drink. I am ah, not letting go of the gold. Um, he's just, a sorry. big orc, so why don't we make an opposed strength check because he's taking it from your hands. Um, uh, Borsh, ooh, Borsh does pretty poorly. Uh, he rolls a, I can't do math right now. He rolls a 21. It's barely a success. I am at ha I rolled a 26. <laughs> so his big fingers like <laughs> clamp over your hands and he's actually grabbing your fingers and trying to pull your hand and the money together at the same time. I, um, I'm pulling back and and to Zen again. Big a bottle of strongest alcohol. Bottle. He's demanding a bottle specifically. Tell him I don't cater to his kind. He wants something strong. Here's the pitcher. I, I, I go uh, then. You buy. I give. I give you gold. Okay. You know what? Fine. I try to buy a bottle of the strongest alcohol. He looks at you. I, no, you can't. He no pitcher. Pitcher for the kobold. He's just gonna break a bottle. Bottle. You, he takes his Borsh? pitcher back and puts it on the table and says, "I'm not Desmond. I don't run this place like a, a loose ship like him. I like a nice tight ship." And I don't trust kobolds with bottles. They're going to break them. You just know it. You saw that time that Glibglob tried to bring three plates of stew, bowls of stew out to people? Broke them all. Lost my very best stew all over the tables and chairs and floors. Uh, he rats in the place for weeks. Borsh, you never paid me for that knife that auto-toasted the <laughs> bread. Well, it needed to be recharged frequently, and it was a bad design. I'm not paying for bad craftsmanship. Uh, I, I turn to Zen. You keep bottle. You s okay, say fine. you keep bottle. Fine. He just wants the alcohol. He wants a bottle's worth, apparently. But the pitcher get... is about a, the is has more volume in it than the bottle. These creatures are stupid. Tell yes, him he's an idiot. Is quite loud. Tell at, at him point, he's a I'm moron. At, the, at this point, I'm on the other side of the bar counter. It says, "Come on, I'm waiting for a long time here." I'm sorry. 
There's a problem with the kobold again, everybody. We all have to wait for our drinks because the kobold thinks the pitcher is smaller than the bottle. <sighs> we probably shouldn't even be serving this sort of rubbish here. Why don't you go in the kitchen and help Glib Glob clean out some pots? Maybe that's what you're better tailored for. Uh, okay. He said, I keep the bottle, he just gets the alcohol. Here's the pitcher. I'm not doing this anymore, I say in Cobalt. Take it. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I, I, do I have three silver? Yeah, I give him three silver. All right. He and takes the I, silver. I take the pitcher. I'm going to help uh, go to Glip Glop into the kitchen. Okay. Glib Glob is currently inside of a very large cook pot that was made to used to make stew. Uh, he's sitting inside of it and just kind of licking the walls, getting it clean. Do I, do I see a bottle around? Oh, there's tons of bottles around. I just pour the alcohol in the bottle. Excellent. <laughs> Close it, stuff it in my backpack. Perfect. Go back to the table. All right. Everyone else is seated around the table. Anything in particular you guys are doing? Anything in particular you guys want to discuss? Yeah, Groupie is going to sit under the table a bit out of sight and cast Fire Trap on the bottle. Oh. Full of the strongest alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and he is the people, people who are allowed to open it. Hold groupie. on, can I make a... Can I make a, uh, whatchamacallit, a spellcraft check? Yes. I mean, I'm sitting under the table. <laughs> Still, you have to chant the spell. Yeah, anyway, it's a ten-minute anyway. casting time, so. Yeah. Well, what, 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 including uh, myself, of course, and Zen. We two are allowed to open the bottle. Yeah. Okay. It's I'll, a, a ten-minute casting. I at least casting. know what. Oh well, that's actually only a twenty-seven, but yeah, yeah. I, I at least know what he's casting. Yes. So. What could possibly go wrong? I just started nope. saying, alright, what's the plan here? While well, you're casting Fire Trap. I just grin at him. Strong as I go. And put the bottle into my backpack. Slowly. <laughs> I just say, if you wanted really strong alcohol, I have like a hundred percent alcohol grade in a little vial that I can make gallons of. Tomorrow. Okay, okay. So everyone's standing around the table, or sitting around their tables, chatting in low voices. There's a, a tension in the air as people can quietly talk amongst themselves. When the front door to shenanigans opens again, this time, stepping in through the door is what is unmistakably described as a zombie. It is a, or was, a human male Maybe five foot eight ish, uh, fairly slender build. Uh, his flesh is clearly rotted out. His hair is falling apart. One of his eyeballs is hanging down a little bit. His clothes are tattered. And you can actually see worms and maggots crawling through his flesh. Mm. Ah, oh no! Oh Another no! Guy in a I am scared of this. <laughs> Uh, Neil, uh, then not just, just assuming here. this is another prank. Uh, Neil, I smell that it's it's a real rotted person, right? It That's smells like death. Mm -hmm. I, I tell Zen, mm, one was one of those was such a tournament, and I'm. I, I just started backing away. I, I am. Looking out on so, the yeah, table. When does it start to smell really bad? Yes, uh, yes, we must all flee, for this is truly a monster. You should go uh, shake hands with him and greet him in person, I say to Nack. Uh, one of the I people... I think I will. <laughs> oh, okay, go because for it, Nack. The, because the handshake is the smile of the fist. <laughs> okay. And so I'll I'll walk up to the zombie <laughs> and extend a hand. The rock looks just like looks like he just had his mind wrinkled by that. <laughs> I was just like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> makes no sense. 
Bob's up here, bro. Notch, you approach the zombie. Uh, with his one good eye, he looks at you, looks up at you, I guess, as you walk towards him. Alright. And I say, fearsome monster, I absolutely believe that is what you are. And I am most pleased to meet you. And I extend my hand with the zombie. He reaches out, not quite to, like, shake your hand, but more, like, to touch your hand. Um, And I need you to make me a constitution check. (laughs) All right. Level one character. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Let's see. Rob dies, does he just come back as Melissa? Does he just get to swap out <laughs> characters? No, he just Oh, you know what? Dead. I need to roll my uh, hit points if you want to do that. Oh, lovely. Please roll us <laughs> your oh, hit points. Dear. Okay, so I got a 24 on the contract. <laughs> oh, he, he's got Uh-oh. 24 HP. No. Oh, I thought, <laughs> yeah, my, I saw that was the hit points. I was like, and okay. my hit points roll is 5. Plus? Uh, plus 9. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> the leg I have... What? Most HP, and you've got like what? 15 con, 16 con, 14. Four, okay, so you, a leg I get plus nine to HP when they're rolled. Rock. Oh, just when it's rolled. Yeah, yeah, no. just not every level, just at character creation. Yeah, Rock. If theoretically a 20 con Minotaur with uh, some special rules from uh, skills and powers, you can have 23 HP at level one. Yeah, you'd roll the d12, then you'd get like plus six for being a minotaur, for for con. No, no, it's plus five. And then a whole bunch from, then four more for minotaur? No, eight more for minotaur, six, Six for minotaur, five for con. Mm, Lovely. Okay, anyway, uh, you pass your con check, and you begin to kind of sweat, and the room begins to spin around you. You feel very intoxicated all of a sudden very very drunk uh droopy is going to step forward and control undead showing mm. a sign of rossi because you are Not- a cleric and you are trying to do the equivalent of turn undead but control mm. undead so why don't you make me your full round action of control undead roll a d20 to mm-hmm. see what if you what you can control. Let me look up the turn undead table here. I mean, oh, I think seems, you that sounds much more powerful than uh, turn undead. <laughs> I think I tried it. If I if I have to roll pretty high to control it, but I I still go beyond the turn. I think. Anyway, seventeen. Wow. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, there's no modifier to the roll, right? It's just a flat d20. I think yeah. so. Okay. You roll a 17. What level are you? Uh, three. Three. Fantastic. Uh, the zombie turns to look at you and starts stalking across the room, leaving a very inebriated large man by the doorway. Uh, what is the inebriated large man by the doorway doing? Uh, Notch does not drink and has never been drunk before. This is so a world is of new very yes. He's, I I have the strangest sensation. I all of you look more attractive, and I find that the things I say are very interesting and witty. All of a sudden, are you all right there? Um, are, are you, are, have you been charmed or something? Like what's going on? Neil, am I controlling the undead? Uh, he's walking towards. You. Let's let these guys. Do a little discussion before we figure that out for sure, Zs or not. So if the handshake is the smile of a dick. <laughs> yes. like, just... Dude, did you like uh just, like get the mouth hurt or something? Or what's going on there, bud? I, you're right. What what was that you said, little boy? <laughs> I'm taller than him, aren't I? I don't know how tall are you. I'm like six six. Uh, oh, okay. So we're like just about. But he's actually he actually is size large. Yes. Okay. Not yes, so he's like tall. as wide as he is tall. 
Okay, so you did say like six feet wide. Yeah, right. he, he's yeah. A, a massive creature. Um, Droopy, you're getting the distinct feeling this creature is not obeying your mental commands. Well, I'm under the table, and I'm going further back under the table. Um, and I'm I'm shouting to them, not, he's not obeying. As the <laughs> zombie approaches your table, which is seated fairly close to the front door, uh, I'm going to ping it for you guys, like right around here-ish. The overwhelming stench of death floods your nostrils. Mm. All right, that's a little too accurate. Let's get <laughs> Scooned him, Skeeter! Grab All out. right, once Droopy says, you know, he is not obeying, and it's pretty clear this guy is an actual undead, I just yell to the rock, Rock! It's rock time! Go! Smash! Go! Oh, yeah. It's not a guy in a costume, huh? Oh, oh, right. oh snap! <laughs> no, Max. All right. All right, Neil. I take out my nice. Roll line. initiative time, I guess. Okay, you guys are going to fight a creature in Shenanigans Bar. Be careful, everyone. Roll a new initiative. Don't mm. damage the bar. You know the rule, the the consequences for bringing damage to the tavern itself. It is plot armored with a. Uh, it is. If it's in so doubt, doubt blame it so on someone trap. else. <laughs> uh, where's our initiative rolls? There we go. 9, 18, ooh, 12, 14. And I think we're missing Everyone one. Everyone except for Max rolled an 8 on the actual die. <laughs> oh, wow. 9, 18, 12, 14, 5. All right, Maximilian, you go first. Yeah, I'm going to um, enlarge the rock by forty percent. Now, now, now you're probably the same size as um. Oh man, I'm as, uh, What's his name? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god, and I'm casting battle fate. <laughs> rock, you are significantly larger. I'm significantly larger now. Time to dunk that. How much larger is it? Forty percent. Oh dang! I got bigger. Mm-hmm. Bigger than last time, bigger. Yeah. Level four now. Ooh. Ooh. It's a pretty good yet. Yeah, it's a pretty good level. Ah, yes. We humans grow quickly sometimes. This I know. It's great, isn't it? Normal. <laughs> this is amazing. I know. It's great. It's, uh, it's super helpful. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like nine feet tall now. The zombie turns his head around the room, uh, dips his head, uh, bends his neck, looks to the ground, raises his arms in some sort of ritualistic spell casting uh, as a, way, a small breeze kind of picks up in the room, blowing out in from him. I need everybody to make constitution checks, please. Oh, great. Mm. Uh, it's cloud kill. Oh no! Oh shit! We're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're all dead. Ooh you don't shit! Don't even get to Rocky. make saves at this level if it was cloud kill. Come on! Ooh, oh! Ooh, oh! Oh my god! I think everyone's gonna make them except for Notch. <laughs> and let's, yeah. maybe Max. Ah. So, mm. um, Zen, Droopy, and the Rock. All of a sudden, you all feel very drunk. Um, Notch, oh, great! <laughs> Do this. Notch, you just pass out. You're just gone. You're, you're so intoxicated that you can't move and you fall asleep on the spot. Uh, Maximilian, you are at. Uh, you're also quite drunk, but you're at the point mm -hmm. where you're kind of stumbling and can't even think coherently. You're at the point where you're going to put your car keys in the fridge. Drunk. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? Oh. All right. Uh, who's next on the initiative order? Whoa. I believe I am. Yes. Killer Death, you are next. Um, what are you doing? I mean, he's probably used magic to being missile. drunk. All right. You have a 20% chance to fail Magic Missile because you're so drunk and you're slurring your words. Give me a D100 to see if you can get the spell off. Come you on, want a 21 or higher. Ah, no problem. Roll me some damage with the magic missile. 
27. Seven points of damage. Your little darts spring to life as you correctly enunciate the words to Magic Missile, and they strike the zombie creature standing before you at the table. Uh, next up in the combat order, I think yeah. is Droops. Yeah, I'm going to cast Battle Fate on the rock. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Let me guess, I have to make a D100. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, oh no. Droopy is too drunk to cast Battle Fate, and instead he rolls a D100 on the Wild Surge table. Uh, a D100 plus your level on the Wild Surge table. <laughs> Ooh, this sounds like fun, actually. Uh, do I lose oh. the spell? Yes. <laughs> Unless you roll high. <laughs> Unless you roll super high. Four. Um, oh no, that's... The caster's clothes begin to itch. Uh, okay, Droopy, okay, that is not bad. You're Ooh. like covered in. We're not going to do the caster's clothes. We're going to say you summon a thousand fleas that crawl all over you and start biting you everywhere. I'm going to run into the kitchen. <laughs> you, Droopy stumbles, co flea covered, probably not different from usual, and into probably the kitchen. He's spreading fleas everywhere. <laughs> They're falling off of him and all over the ground as he flees. Uh, next up is Natch, who is Natch. You're you're I'm unconscious. unconscious. Play ball. What are you dreaming of, large women? I am dreaming of dumplings stuffed mm. with chicken and fresh vegetables. Okay. Uh, next up, cook. next up is the Rock. All right. You're pretty drunk, Rock. Oh yeah, I'm drunk, but I've I've been in a few bar fights. Mm -hmm. I know what to expect. Okay. Yeah, I know I know what to expect. It's uh, do I have any penalties in the orders? Yeah, just... you have a minus two to hit for being drunk. Okay. Yeah, it's I know what to expect. It's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> Your two-handed sword lands right on the zombie's shoulder, cutting deeply into his flesh. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. 40% damage. Four. Boom! 12.6 damage. Ooh. Nice. The zombie stumbles backwards. We round all damage down. Uh, stumbles backwards. His arm kind of like hanging from his side now. Uh, and I think, is that everyone in the party? Yep. Okay. The, Try casting after that. Uh, the other warrior types and wizard types in the bar get to their feet. Most of them are fairly intoxicated, and they're just acting at the end of the round. Um, and they come in to hack the zombie to pieces as well. Good. Um, a flurry of blows rains down on the zombie. Arrows spring from corners of the room. Magic <laughs> missiles go off. Uh, and in a short period of time, the zombie is battered and beaten and destroyed. Cool. Lying at your feet. Kind of a, a weird puddle. And we each get two XP for that. Borscht comes over, <laughs> looks at the creature, looks around the bar. I don't have Borscht, a good feeling what'd about put, this. What'd you put in that soup, man? Whoa. Dude, does... Is that even affected because he's like constantly drinking? That was weird, man. You're weird. still affected. Yeah, definitely. Like, but I think he... Yeah. Zen has never not been drunk on the show. Well, then this is, you know, then you're that much more drunk than normal. Yeah. You know, your blood Don't alcohol level has increased by... Uh, five. What? Point... What is, what's the legal limit? Point oh eight Zero. for driving? So your blood alcohol level is inc increased by point oh eight. So if it was point oh four before, it's point twelve now. Mm. I mean... Well, this is going on. Droopy is just stumbling into the kitchen, looking for a big, pit, not pitcher, big uh, bucket of water uh, or some fluid. Make dips her finger in and tastes it to make sure it's not hot sauce. And just jumps into it. To All get right. Rid of these. You you hop in. Borscht comes in a few minutes later, uh, holds up a gold coin and says, "Hey, little kobold, do you want to dig a grave for me?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hands you the coin, says, Go dig a hole in the backyard. 
And then I'll give you something to drink when you're done. Mm. Uh, you need going protection, to... Groupie? I heard that. Uh, I like... Gag him yes. to come out. Right, and... Gag him and... Yeah, I'm going to dig a grave in the backyard. <laughs> like a true professional. Okay. Uh, you head out into the backyard, and we're going to take our first break for today. We'll come back on the other side with some more shenanigans. Bye-bye, everybody. So much. <laughs>